Hello everyone, welcome to part 22 of Laravel 10 tutorial in which we are working on the CRUD operations and uh, we are uh, working on the CMS pages uh, these, CRUD, uh, these CRUD operations we are doing for the CMS pages ok so in this video we are going to work on the delete CMS page functionality so let's start working on this one in the last video we have seen that uh, uh, we able to show all the CMS pages here. We able to add, we able to edit the CMS pages as well. And now we are going to delete the CMS pages. Also active and inactive status that we have done so far. So here we are going to add the delete icon. And after that we are going to add the delete functionality for the CMS page. So that the admin can able to delete the CMS page anytime he want. Okay, so first of all we are going to add the delete icon. We are going to open the CMS pages blade file. Okay, so here I'm going to open CMS pages blade file. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to add uh, one more uh, link here after edit. I'm going to add here and here I'm going to give here the URL uh, something like delete CMS page and here uh, see uh, we can also add the title if we want to add the title here that. Uh, like edit CMS page or delete CMS page okay so delete CMS page and uh, see page ID is going along with that delete CMS page slash page ID and here I am going to use uh, the font epsom like uh, trash is the another font epsom icon I am going to see whether it looks fine or not okay so it looks fine here and we will give some spacing here like this and now uh, delete icon it seems to be fine okay so uh, we are going to create this route in web.php file so after this one we are going to create one more route I'm going to copy the earlier one so that it will take only a few seconds uh, and here we just required to have the get route okay so match is not required this one is not required I'm going to remove this one as we don't require this at all okay we just require delete cms page id okay after that uh, see i'm going to check a cms controller that we have created with the resource controller that we are using for the crud okay so we already have the destroy function that we are going to use uh, for deleting the cms page okay so this destroy function i'm going to use here okay destroy so i'm going to modify this function uh, see this one is not required I'm going to remove this one only the page ID is required I'm going to keep the page ID here okay and here I'm going to add the code like delete CMS page and we are going to delete from the CMS page model uh, this is the model where ID dollar ID delete okay so return redirect back with success message CMS page has been deleted successfully or simply CMS page deleted successfully okay like added updater now CMS page deleted successfully okay so we are going to check once it is working fine or not so I'm going to add some test CMS page first of all like something like test uh, well, I'm going to add uh, anything here okay so see here uh, it has been added uh, this, actually there is the plugin installed at my end so that's why it is appearing like this otherwise it will appear fine at your end okay so I'm going to click on submit see page added now I'm going to delete this page let's see see here uh, the message is coming CMS page added successfully I'm going to close this one and going to delete this CMS page that we have added I'm going to click on delete and you can see the CMS page later successfully okay so we able to delete the CMS page successfully so we able to do this functionality as well so now uh, we have completed this CMS page module we have added the add CMS page functionality, status active inactive, edit CMS page functionality, and now the delete CMS page functionality. 
Uh, also, I'm going to correct this CMS page here. Uh, it is showing uh, this one, uh, but we are going to keep it like dashboard. Okay. Uh, see, we will not show any kind of drop down. So I'm going to modify the CMS page at the sidebar. Uh, like we have added the dashboard uh, in the same way I'm going to see that uh, what is appearing in dashboard okay so I'm going to see CMS pages here uh, CMS pages and here I'm going to see okay uh, so i think uh, this tree view we need to remove this tree view okay yeah so i'm going to remove this one okay now I'm, i will check and also like uh, okay that i have already disabled now we're going to see okay so we can able to click no no we are not able to click on cms pages uh, nothing is happening uh, so we need to see mm, uh, okay URL is not given here okay so we need to give the URL uh, also we need to uh, use the session variable like session get paid we have used session uh, get uh, C dashboard we have used so here also for CMS pages also we are required to use that uh, like in admin control I want to show you that we have put the session like for dashboard we have put the dashboard session and for CMS pages uh, we can uh, put the pages session okay so everywhere we are going to add the session here like session put page here uh, we can put the pages okay like this CMS page we can also uh, make it like CMS pages it's our choice uh, I'm going to see that what we have done with the password update password okay so fine it is so I'm going to put this CMS pages CMS hyphen pages okay uh, so we are going to use this uh, wherever like uh, we are going to use this in edit as well uh, CMS pages and here in case of update it is not required and now uh, we are going to see okay so uh, now we are going to modify this sidebar uh, in the same way like uh, we have added the code there i'm going to add here as well okay cms page is in front here okay so here page must be cms pages okay and this dollar active uh, we are going to put uh, c here class nav link uh, after class nav link okay yes if class nav link inside this one here we are going to put we are going to put in a same way uh, okay enclosed with these braces uh, for laravel okay so now we are going to put here the url as well url admin cms pages okay so let's try now see if we click click on cms pages uh we able to click on cms pages but we need to add the session here as well use session okay so now we are going to see here now we are able to select the cms pages okay you can see uh, once we have selected the cms pages it gets selected and there is no drop down as the cms page is the stand alone uh, feature okay like we click on the dashboard we able to select this one we click on the cms pages we able to select this one okay so if we will go to the edit functionality as well you can see the cms pages uh, keeps highlighted okay and even if we are going uh, for the add cms page functionality add cms page here also cms page is highlighted okay so we able to highlight the cms page every time if the admin open the cms pages uh, okay then the cms page at the left side bus it got highlighted okay so in the next video uh, we are going to work on the sweet alert uh, see here we are going to show every time if we are going to click on delete we want to show the alert first of all we are going to show the simple javascript alert like are you sure you want to delete this page because it is required for every module sometimes the user clicks by mistake okay so we are going to work on the sweet alert as well some beautiful attractive jquery alert we are going to add 
for our admin panel so up till now we are doing the admin panel that is required by all the websites whether it is e-commerce dating education related any any website so this one is required so you can everyone can follow uh, this web uh, this uh, uh, series so far who wants to make the admin panel in laravel okay so uh, i just want you to subscribe the channel for more updates and always join the channel to get the source code okay you can get the source code up till uh, part uh, c22 uh, it is the 22nd part you will get the source code and future updates as well you will uh, get so that you can simply compare my code with yours okay uh, you will also get the other laravel website like multi vendor e-commerce website okay with complete support uh, so you can join the channel by paying small fees and you can always subscribe the channel to get uh, updates laravel updates from time to time also you will get the rec.js series as well okay so that you can build the apps, web apps. So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.